Dude, I spent 2k, sat in the closet, and now I'm about to make 4k off of it. So, 2k profit, didn't do anything but buy the shoes, right? Got it all the mother, had no car, no plus. Yeah, and it's amazing, yeah. Getting paper, yeah. Doing what I love, yeah. What's good, y'all, man? Welcome to the video, man. I don't even know how to intro a video, so I just be like, hey, what's up? I'm not in the field today, because normally I'd be like, yo, I'm in the field. But today we in the crib, and we talking about some shoes. We talking about some different stuff today. I ain't buying bricks. This is all DS. You feel me? So look, basically, it's just like if you saw my Lucky Green uh, video. I invested money into this sneaker when it first dropped, okay? I invested $2,000 in 20 pairs. Um, so basically, I'm sharing with you guys how I bought all these. I spent 2 k Sat in the closet and now I'm about to make 4K off of it. So 2K profit, didn't do anything but buy the shoes, right? Okay. I know people talk about holding sneakers and stuff like that, right? Most of the time it's like kind of like this kind of hold, right? I was holding these, these and uh, court purpose. I'm still holding these, which I paid resale and now I'm holding, you know, until the resale market goes higher, whenever that may be. If I don't care, I'll just hold these for a long ass time. I don't really care. But um, I paid resale for these, that's the point. So I paid high, basically. For these, a lot of young resellers can do stuff like this if you want to. Obviously, you don't have to, but this is um, these are shoes that retail for, what's retail? $90. Mm -hmm. Retail is 90 so I paid less than $100 each for these. Now, mind you, these were easy to get on the, in the stores because they were just sitting there, right? So I just grabbed a couple pairs for these. Like I said, I had 20 total, and... Uh, I did make a video about this and a TikTok about this, so I'll address that soon. And um, in the TikTok, I showed that basically I went around buying them off of retail with no intentions of selling them instantly. Market was 110 when I bought them. So with market being 110 and retail is 90, there's not much of a quick flip to be made there unless you're selling there to clientele that needs them to where they don't care the price. They just want them, you know, in hand. So you maybe charge them 150 or something. I think I did flip a few for like 150 um, when I first got them. Right, mind you. On GOAT, they said 110 at this time, right? Fast forward, it's probably been like six months. How long have these been? More than six months? When did these release? Um, I do not I remember know. these released. Yeah, I don't either. Whenever that video is, look back at, just look back at the video. Well, I've only had a YouTube channel for seven months, so like, the, the, this video had to be six, five months, like five, six, six months. months, huh? Like five, six months. Yeah, it had to be like five, six months ago. So. I haven't even, I'm not even done holding these, you know what I'm saying, because I wanted to hold these. My goal is to hold these for a year, or at least, uh, I said this summer would be when I'd let go of my pairs. Because I'm not really, I don't, like, I can make 4K of these today, but, like, I'm not really looking to sell these right now. I don't really care. I'll sell these when I feel right. And when I feel right is this summer, at least, as at the earliest. So, basically, I'm just going to tell you all what went through my mind when, uh, when doing this, when I decided to make this investment how it worked out, so maybe you could do the same thing with a different shoe, or whatever shoe you, your gut is telling you would work with, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so first off, here's what made me decide to invest in these. This shoe also released for $90 a while ago. Very similar shoe, right? Whoa. At, what? I didn't know they go for that much. Yeah, very similar shoe, right? But just slightly different. This is the original Court Purple Lows. And now you can see, oh shit, hold up, hold up, my bad, all right. As you can see, market is way higher than $90 now. So I looked at that. I also looked at, dude, let me show y'all what other one, Jordan one. And this is just, I'm showing y'all the full thing because I want y'all to know exactly what's going through my head. So like, um, there's other popular colorways that tiny went up. Jeans. These are so, all the ugly colorways those though. Pine greens. Yeah, that is true. Those two. Black. Pine greens, black toe ones. Look at the market. These were 90 mind you. What made me realize that I should invest in these, these all did the same thing. When these dropped for 90, they sat on shelves and they were on GOAT for 90, you know what I'm saying? Like 90, $100, you know what I'm saying, on GOAT. But then there was just a sudden, like, because everyone's got their pairs, everyone's wearing their pairs over time, it becomes harder to get a dead stock pair of them. Market goes up, simple, you know what I'm saying? A simple business experience will tell you that that's how it works, supply and demand, shattered backboards. Release for retail for 90 mind you that y'all have to remember that these are not none of these shoes released for 90 the same day We're selling for 300 400. It didn't work like that. They released for 90. They were bricks for a long time They were not selling but then the, eventually down the road they started going up like I said supply and demand so 
like I said, I put, I peeped this and I noticed and I was just like, shit, these look like the high top, like the high top core purple ones that I have back here. Those went up and they're a fan favorite, like a, like everybody loved them basically. So I just had a feeling that these would go up, you know what I'm saying? So, like I said, these were um, going for 100 on apps. Now I just checked apps. Like I haven't been paying attention to this recently, but I just looked at it. Well, I haven't been paying attention to this this whole time, but recently I just looked at it and I just noticed market is not at 110 no more. 170, 180, 184, 188, 192, 40 for a 7.5, 250. And I do have some smaller sizes in here too. I have a full size run, so I'm really good to go type fit. Not bad. So like, you know what I'm saying? This, I can honestly say that I don't, I think I made a smart investment with this because like I said, this just like having inventory, just having money make money for me. I wasn't looking to make a killing off these. I'm not trying to make 10, 20 bands off these core purples. Nah, but like the point is I had extra cash around. I decided to throw my 2000 into this shoe and just from it, I didn't do no work. Like it just, it just literally sat in my closet and just started, there was just literally just dollar signs. It just started increasing. Paid $100 flat or less for each shoe. And now if I want to sell them off for 180, I can make 80 a piece off all of these. I'm not in no rush to sell these though. So I'm a, I'm a wait still some more because my, my main idea when I first decided to do this hold was to wait a year um, or at least until summer of 2021. So I'm not gonna fold, you know what I'm saying? And just be like, oh, it went up a little bit. Let me take this little profit, you know what I'm saying? Cause if they go up to 350, I can sell them all for, you know, two, 280, you know what I'm saying? Around that price range. And it's lower than market. So it's gonna sell like that. And you know what I'm saying? Got them all DS and I could, and I still paid a hundred each for them. And they're just making money as it's sitting here. Now, of course, if I need, you know, the cash for some reason, I'll sell them. I'm not emotionally invested into this deal. I'll sell them if I have to, but I don't have to right now. So I'm gonna just keep letting them sit up, sit in, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully they don't restock and I can, you know what I'm saying? Resell these for some bread. But yeah, basically I just wanted to show you that this is like, this is a successful hold because this is exactly what you want to happen. If you invest in a shoe while it's low or for the retail price, this is what you want to happen when you hold something. You just want the value to grow over time. And that's what's happening. So yeah, I just want to give you all a quick update on that. I'm gonna go ahead and stack these up and put them back in the closet where they belong so I keep holding them. But uh, hopefully you guys could learn something from that little bit of information and maybe, you know what I'm saying, you'll see a pair that you just think might uh, might go up. While we're on the subject, another pair that I'm holding are these mids. Oh, not these. Actually, I'm holding some of these too, but this isn't what I meant to show you. But I'm pretty sure y'all can understand why I hold these. They look like the Royal One Highs. I'm not even gonna waste the time. There's nothing else I need to say. That's just, that's just, that's what they look like. So I think they're gonna go up. These. I'm deciding to hold these mids also, just because. Take a look at the leather. This is a different type of leather quality. This is a very high quality leather. So I do think, and it's got this shiny ass satin looking insole ins ins or in a uh, in 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 sock liner. Sock liner. That's what it's called. Mm. What? There's a, it's a mm, like mm. Mm, mm. It's sock liner, right? Dude, this took you like. Alright, man. It's a sock liner though, right? Yeah. Are you talking at, about? at the temperature. Wait, <laughs> what? You you think these are go? Up? Yeah, those look key hard. That's what I'm saying. They are, I wear these if they're my size. I swear, no cap. Why are you looking? You look at me like it's cap. You don't think I wear them? Oh yeah. If someone got them to you for free. Yeah. If they gave it to me for free. Yeah, you probably wear them. I wear them for retail. For real? Why don't you get a pair of your size? They don't got them. This is this grade school. All these is five and a half by six. They only had them out in grade school? Yeah. They had them in men's sizes? No. Oh, so they're just a, just a kid's shoe? Yeah, I got them from Kids Foot Locker. Oh, they didn't have them in Megalith Foot Locker? No, I didn't see them. If uh, they did, though, I'd have caught them. Hmm. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> nah, y'all well, already know what it is, man. I hope y'all, like I said, I hope y'all enjoyed the video, you know what I'm saying? Uh, let me know what shoes you think might go up if you're gonna hold because I want to see you know, I'll give y'all out free game y'all put me on some game Let me know what, what you think gonna go up. I might want to cop the view. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Mm. All right, man. I appreciate y'all for watching man. I'm about to get out of here, man Let me know if y'all want me to keep keeping y'all up to date with what I be holding and stuff like that like I said I'm gonna put these back in the closet. Y'all be easy. I'm signing out Out of town never saw her before Told her baby we don't got that long Listen, it's not my city show